today, Stephanie and Tony Tantillo cook up a meal that's hearty and simple. And not much to it, just saute some sausage, add a few ingredients, and serve. If you like sausage and escrow and beans, we have something for you right here in this pan. We have exactly that. The only <laughs> thing you forgot to mention are these beautiful grape tomatoes. Yes, I did. Forget to mention that, but take it away. <laughs> when you see, you know, they're called grape tomatoes because, of course, they're shaped like a grape. When you pick them out in the store, you want to make sure they have a slight gift to the touch, a nice, beautiful red all the way around, nice and vibrant. They're so sweet. They're like little candies. And when you bring them home, always remember, never store uncut tomatoes in the refrigerator. You want to store these on the counter, keep them nice and juicy. That is very, very important. I like the uncut part. That's that also a great. Well, because if you cut them, you can put them in there, for, you know, in a right. salad or something like that. Otherwise, you release too much moisture, and the tomatoes will be gone. Exactly. Now, why here we do? We sautéed the sausage. Then we took the sausage out, and we added the tomatoes, a little bit of chicken stock. Then the escarole went in there, all cut up. Mm -hmm. Sausage back in there. Forgot about the garlic too. We put in there, and right there, it's, it's coming together with yep. such a beautiful aroma. And we added in these tomatoes pretty late because we want to keep them just for that sweetness. Uh huh. And just let them sort of release their juices. Now the sausage is red, red, you know, hot sausage, but yep. I'm not some red pepper flakes anyway. Well, we do like things spicy around here. Yes, we do. But you could always substitute for sweet sausage. And I, Steph, what do you think? You think it's about done? I think it's good like that. You know, if you wanted to, you could easily put this with some pasta, and it's very delicious. Yeah. But we're just going to eat it like this for now. We I was thinking point. about putting pasta on here, but I changed my mind. Which rarely ever happens. I know it really <laughs> always, but look how delicious this looks. I know. And now we're going to finish this off. What you want to do is take some good extra virgin olive oil, and at the very end, you put it on there. It gives it a nice freshness to it. There we go. Good olive oil is a key. Sausage, escarole, beans. It's a beautiful thing, chow. Stephanie and Tony can cook your favorite dish as well. Tell us about it on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash CBS New York.